Hello everyone, so I am your Internet Happiness Guide Rupesh Bhut. So today's video is going to be very non-technical video. Even the layman person can understand this video is mainly for those people who, who have still doubts or still skepticism like where and how this healing work, how this healing is supporting uh, the human body to recover or the mind to recover. Yes, so you can share this video with anyone who wants to know healing who wants to understand how healing works and how it will make the difference in our life right so let me start with the amazing story so every story has a character so this story has a characters too so our first character is the car what is the job of the car car helps us to go from one place to another place yes nothing else so second character of the story is the owner of the car who is blind he cannot see, he can only feel the difference in the atmosphere or around. That's it. Okay. And the third character of the car is the driver. Driver knows everything about car. He can drive the car. He is very, very emotional and his emotion reflects in the driving of the car. He cannot speak, he cannot hear, he can only see. So this is his characteristics and the fourth character of our story is the mechanic the mechanic who has a superpower he understands the car like anything and he has a superpower like whenever we call him call the mechanic the mechanic will appear directly yeah without the second option or without the blink of the second mechanic just appears okay so let's begin the story so there was a one fine day the mood of the car driver was very good so you can understand the driving of the car would be extraordinary excellent smooth ride very happy very enjoying and very going yes now every day are not the same day so on another day the mood of the driver was very disturbing was completely off out of the mind so now you can understand the driving of the car would be very rash with lots of brakes, glitches, uh, very uncomfortable driving experience the owner might have been experiencing. Yes. So the moment the owner experiences this turbulence in the driving, he quickly calls the mechanic. And as I told you, the mechanic has a superpower. He just appears. Mechanic checks the car. He checks everything in the car and tells the owner, oh, everything is all right. There is nothing wrong in this car and disappears so now owner is worried like if everything is okay if everything is going well why the hell car is not working well why my ride is so disturbing and fooled with the turbulence do you have the answer pause this video and do comment your answers okay right many of you might be thinking why Rupesh Bodh is explaining such a childish story in such an important topic where we are trying to understand how healing can help our life. Yeah, so in my opinion, if I tell you, this story covers everything about healing, how healing helps. Okay, so now let's unfold the next part of the story. So now let us understand who are these people? Who are the characters and how they are connected with us? So our first character is car. Car is nothing but your body. Your, all your organs in the body is car. Okay. The second character of the story is the owner. Owner is you. You own the body. Right? You and the body are separate. This is a very common thing in the spirituality. You and body are separate. Body, mind and soul. Yes, body and mind. Now, you cannot see what is going on inside the body. You can only experience something. There is something wrong with my body. There is something turbulence in my body. Something is not all right. Something wrong. That's it. You can see outwards. So, the owner is blind. It cannot see. Okay. The third character of our story is the mechanic. The mechanic is the one whom we refer as doctor. So doctor has unbelievable knowledge about the body. He understands each and everything in our body in very, very minutest detail. Yes, 
and today with the god's grace the world is so much progressing that we have doctor everywhere we can approach the doctor even in the midnight so the doctor has this super power whenever we call them they are always at our service oh i am not forgetting the most important character of our story driver who is driver and what is the significance of driver in our story driver is very important driver is somebody who drives the car driver is somebody who drives your body driver is our consciousness so for few people the word consciousness might be little bit difficult to understand so you can understand consciousness and mind as a synonymous term okay it is not synonymous but just to understand the story this whole thing that i'm trying to explain you can take both the things uh, as the same so who is the driver the driver is the consciousness the mind that that moves this body that makes this body move yes that makes the organ function in the way it is desired or designed to function it is the job of our mind so the moment mind is disturbed it is disturbed due to many many emotional reason it could be anything a bad mood or any anything right and when it gets collected collected the mood gets distorted bad 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 it will start affecting your organ so organ in as such it is good but the mind is not able to drive the organ way it is designed to be used mind is not able to use the organ way it is designed to be used why mind is not able to do that because mind is disturbed there is a lots of emotional turbulence going on in the mind so it is not working the way it should be working yes now whenever we experience the turbulence in our body whenever we experience that there is some disturbance or disease in our body what we do we call the doctor doctor examines our organ in most of the cases there are chances like doctor will say oh this organ is all well all perfect there is nothing to do uh, sorry there is nothing wrong with this organ but still the organ is not working why because the mind now mind is something that we cannot see and something that we cannot see we cannot easily understand and here comes the role of the energy healing energy is something that we cannot see but it works directly on mind yes mind is also in the form of energy it's just to make the things easy to understand mind is also in the form of energy and this energy healing with the help of this energy healing we heal the mind we heal the driver that drives this organs we heal the driver that drive this body and we make the mood of driver more happier more peaceful and that ultimately will make the uh, your ride easily and smooth now what is this ride this ride is your life your life will be smoother and stable now we know that our mind is the driver that drives all the organs in our body and ultimately drives our body now what is the thing that is affecting our mind what is the thing that creates lots of emotional turbulence in our mind so the first and the foremost thing that creates that it is the stress we are living in such a world in such an environment that we tend to collect the stress from all the direction in our life yes it comes through all the senses it comes from all our thought processes in our life it comes in it comes in it comes in but there is no natural way to let it out easily so we can take stress easily but there is no as such method to release the stress from our body from our mind from our aura from our system right and when we cannot release the stress that easily it starts getting accumulated in our body and at accumulate starts getting accumulated in our mind so whatever emotions is connected to that organ and the, there is lots of stress related to that organ that organ may not function that well so this is the biggest thing that we need to look at now i told you the problem so what is the solution if we can eliminate stress at its entry point the things will be much better now how we can do that okay so there is the link in the description that i have provided it is uh, the link of the book release your stress at your desk yes so you can release the stress the moment it starts entering 
at your place only you don't have to go somewhere meditate and release the stress do not let the stress come in your body you can stop it from the entry point itself there are practical exercises practical guidance given there it is scientifically explained how this thing can happen so do check out this book and if you have got any value by this video you do share this video with your friends and family let everybody understand what healing is and how healing works and how it can help our life and make our life better thank you thank you so much for listening that's it for right now and link is already given in the description thank you so much